All right, today we're going to be going over this kidney model. It's the only one like this, and it's a good one to know. So first, we'll start off with the whole kidney. On the outside, you have the cortex, and towards the inside, you have the medulla, just like the other organs we've already learned. Next, we're going to look at these spaces in here. Um, normally, these are filled with adipose tissue, and these are going to be your renal sinuses. Next, we have the renal pyramids, just going to be each one of these. And in between those renal pyramids, you have renal columns. Okay, the pyramids terminate into the renal papilla. Okay, and from there, the papilla is going to have urine draining into the minor calyxes which join together and form major calyces and these drain into the renal pelvis and finally out the ureters. Okay, in addition we have the renal arteries and renal veins. Alright, now we're going to cover the nephron, the functional unit of the kidney. First thing you need to know, all these white dots our renal corpuscles. So this is also a renal corpuscle as are all these little tiny white dots. Okay, next um, you'll notice that flowing that going into the renal corpuscles you have arteries and here you're going to see an afferent arteriole. You'll notice it's thicker than the efferent arteriole because it has to deal with higher pressure and the efferent arterioles are coming out of the renal corpuscle. Okay, inside the glomeri inside of the renal corpuscles, you have the glomerulus, which is a capillary bed, and that filters um, the plasma out of the blood and leaves the red blood cells within the vessels. Okay, and from the from the, re the renal corpuscle, you have the proximal convoluted tube. You can see that over here as well, leading to the descending and ascending loop of Henle. And then up here you have the distal convoluted tube. You can also see a distal convoluted tube right here. And the final thing we have to go over is the paratubular capillaries. And those are going to be the capillary beds that surround these tubules and the loop of Henley.